ready to start automating your income, you need a sales funnel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to build your very first email sales funnel on Kajabi. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to write your emails, how to format them on Kajabi, how to utilize Kajabi templates to make this easier, and exactly how an automated email sales funnel works from opt-in to conversion. But before we dive in, I would love to introduce myself if we've never met. I'm Megan Martin, and I help creatives and service-based entrepreneurs turn what they know, what they love, and what they already do in their business into a digital product that you can sell and start scaling for passive income. I've helped hundreds of business owners do that. I've done it myself to build my own six-figure digital product business, and I love using Kajabi to power everything in my business. I use Kajabi to house my digital products from my courses to my memberships and more. I use Kajabi to grow my email list and send out automated sales sequences and newsletters. And I use Kajabi to sell my digital products. There is so much that Kajabi can do for you, but today I wanna walk you through exactly how you can build your first sales funnel with the Kajabi system. Let's dive in. To begin, I wanna show you a brand new funnel that I just created to give you an example of how this works. A sales funnel is simply an automated system to present a new email subscriber with a product that you have to offer to help solve their problems or fulfill a need they have in their life. This sales funnel that I've created offers my signature 30-day course meets challenge program called Revenue Ripple, where I help my customers walk through how to create and launch their very first digital product in 30 days. The first thing that you're gonna do is create an opt-in. Now, you're gonna wanna create an opt-in that is very tightly aligned in content and concept with the digital product you wanna sell at the end of this sales funnel. In my case, I created a three-part free workshop called Trading Deadlines for Dollars on Autopilot, and this is where I teach service-based business owners how to turn what they are already doing in their business, how to pull out a digital product idea from what they're already doing in their business and turn it into something that they can sell 24 seven on autopilot, just like I'm teaching you here with a sales funnel. When somebody clicks, get your free workshop pass, an opt-in pop-up appears. This is all done on Show It. I use Show It to design my website. I love that it is a creative drag and drop website platform. If you are a Kajabi user, you can absolutely do all of this within, within the Kajabi platform. I've just found that I like a little bit more creative freedom with my my website, so that's why I use Show It. Everything you see from the font to the colors, all of that is in Show It, except for this opt-in form. I've embedded this opt-in form onto my Show It website. I've used a little bit of CSS magic to turn this out of the box Kajabi opt-in form into this beautiful form you're seeing here. When somebody puts their first name, their email, and clicks save your seat, they're actually opting in to my email list via Kajabi. You can see on the back end of Kajabi, this this is where my forms are under marketing. And the first one says trading deadlines for dollars workshop funnel. So if you were to click on that and you can see all the settings that I have, I'll show you that in a minute, but I want you to see what this looks like when you hit embed. This is where you're gonna style your Kajabi form on the back end. This is what the form looks like out of the box. What I've done is essentially removed the title, removed the subtitle, so there's none of that text. All there is is this form. Down here, what I do, I create the background when I click background color and you go to this color picker, you can slide this color picker, color chooser right here all the way to the left and that actually makes the form a transparent background. You'll wanna make sure that show the form in line is selected and then of course you can embed this form anywhere you want on the internet once you are done and to get it the way that mine looks, you'll need a little bit of CSS knowledge which I have a video to teach you how to do that but for now, I wanna keep moving forward to show you how to actually build this out as a sales funnel with Kajabi. Back on the form page, you're gonna see my settings now. On the right, you'll see after submission, I have send a notification to your team, turned off, I don't need that every time someone opts in. Uh, send contact to a third-party email provider. This would be for you if you're not using Kajabi to run your emails, but I'm trying to keep everything in one house, so this tutorial is gonna show you how to do this in Kajabi. What I do is I send my contact 
to a custom thank you page. Now, if you were to toggle over to website and to pages and to landing pages, I create a landing page for every single form that I have. You'll see here trading deadlines for dollars workshop. I like to always name in Kajabi my forms, my funnels, my sequences. I like to use a numerical system to help me track what I am working on. So you'll see that the names are always the same throughout the entire system. This is a custom landing page that I built in Kajabi. And by custom, I mean, I literally just put this together. It was no code. I use the builder that Kajabi has. And what this does is a couple things. This trains my new subscriber that they need to go into their inbox and go find my email. I want them to open my emails. I want them to click my emails. That helps me and my deliverability rates in the future. It also is training my new subscriber that there is important information in your emails and you'll want to click on emails from me in the future. On this access page, I simply say, hey, step one, go find that email. Step two, you'll find the details in that email and you can click on it from there. And I usually use this bright red banner at the top and that is a quick way to visually convey to my new subscriber that this page is really important and to go scroll down and read these words. Okay, let's toggle back to my form. Under opt-in settings, this is where you're gonna choose whether you want a double or a single opt-in for your new subscriber. A double opt-in is where you are essentially going to send them an email after completing the form and they have to click a link in that email to confirm their subscription. A single opt-in is simply once somebody fills out a form that is confirming their subscription to your email marketing software. It's up to you what you choose, but for this form, I'm keeping it as a single opt-in. The magic of Kajabi is right here in the automations and this is where you're going to start to build out your email sales funnel. The first thing that I do is a few things I like to add a couple tags. So whenever someone subscribes to any form of mine, I go ahead and subscribe them to my newsletter. I also like to subscribe them to what that form tells me that they're interested in. So in this case, if you're interested in turning what you do as a service-based business owner into a digital product, that clues me in that you're interested in digital products. So I have a tag that is that clarifies this person is interested in digital products. So in the future, when I create a new product, I can send it to the people that are most interested in that topic. I'll also, I also create a tag that is specific to the entry point that they came in from. So in this case, this was the trading deadlines for dollars on autopilot workshop funnel. So I have a tag for that to let me know on the back end how many people are coming into this funnel and who those people are. You'll also see up here at the top that once a form is submitted, I subscribe them to an email sequence. And this is how you will start the auto automatic funnel that's going to present your product to this person who is interested in what you have to offer. You can send them an email directly from this form. You can create an automation that says once form is submitted, then send an email and then a, this pop-up is going to automatically come up and you can actually create an email to send right here. I have found that this email builder is not as robust as the sequence builder we're about to look at. So I actually create all my emails in the email campaign section of Kajabi. Let's look at what that is. If you toggle over here to the right under marketing, you can see email campaigns. You can create single newsletters or a broadcast, whatever you want to call it, to send out just at once here. And you can also create sequences. So what you're going to do is you click new email campaign and you're going to choose, is this a broadcast? Is this a one-time email you're sending to your list? Or is this an email sequence? What we're building right now is called an email sequence. And I'm gonna open the one that coordinates with this funnel that we're going through. This is the back end of my email funnel. This is brand new, it's on Kajabi. I just built this. So I was just in the same spot that you're in now. And you can see that there's a series of emails that go out over time. We've got one that goes out immediately and then the next day and then the following day and so on and so forth. 
So when you create a new email in your sequence, you can actually choose when you're going to send that email. You can, you're going to add your subject line. You're going to add a preview text. That's when you are in your email inbox and you see the subject line and there's like a tiny line of text underneath it. That's the preview text. You can actually create that in Kajabi. And then down here is when you actually build in the content of your email. Now I use Kajabi's drag and drop email builder. I don't ever look at a line of code to create any of those emails. And a little tip for you moving forward is if you launch a digital product, say you have a live launch scenario. In this case, I was live launching my course a couple weeks ago. And what I did is every time I sent one of those single email broadcasts to my list, I saved it as a template. So that way, when I wanted to create a new email in this funnel, I could easily go back and access that template. So if you hit view all, you'll see down here, for example, this is one of the emails that I send in this funnel. This was an email that I sent in my live launch. I clicked save it as a template before I sent that email. And then now that I'm in my email funnel builder, when I cl click add a new email, I can simply click on this email that was sent during the live launch. I can hit get started. I can title this email and it will automatically add it to my email sequence and all I have to do is edit some of the details. Of course, it's not a live launch anymore. So I needed to edit some of the details out about that live launch and maybe change some of the links and maybe a couple of the images. But for the most part, that email is already built. It's a fantastic way that Kajabi has made your life easier by creating templates out of past emails. So even if you say, let me show you this, even if you already sent an email, say if you've sent a broadcast and you've styled it exactly like you like for your brand, what you can do after sending that is you can come here to options and you can save that as a template after sending. So if you live launched and you didn't save any of those emails as templates, go back and save them as templates now. That way you can quickly and easily build an entire sequence in like less than an hour. It took me no time to turn those emails into an email campaign. So let me show you what this looks like. Let's say new sequence. I'm going to title my sequence, whatever that's going to be. Then again, you can select from templates. Kajabi has a lot of built in templates. If you don't have your email style the way that you like yet, you can choose from any of these. Um, I'm going to go with this one. This is pretty, pretty simple. Let's get started. So I'm going to say email one. Now, typically email one is when you're going to deliver your opt in. So what you want to do is go where it says day. You're going to want to drop You want to, you're going to want to set day to zero. That is going to to send uh, this email immediately. So once somebody opts into your form and on the form settings under automation, you're going to subscribe them to this email sequence. This one's called new sequence. So if I were creating a new form, I would under automation say when form is submitted, subscribe them to an email sequence. And I would choose new sequence as that email sequence. Since this is set to zero, this first email will be sent immediately after opting in and you can choose an internal title. This is just for you. I tend to make my internal titles the actual title of this, the actual subject line of this email. So I'm going to say subject line of this email and then preview text is typically something that uh, clues you in of what's inside this email. So clue of what's inside. Then you can hit save and that's going to save that information right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, you can click launch email editor here, or you can just simply hover over this preview. And this is where you're going to go into the back of Kajabi and design this entire email. Now, email one is where you're going to deliver whatever that person opted in for. Again, you're going to create an opt-in that's tightly aligned to the digital product that you have to offer them at the end of this funnel. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a few more emails, about four to five emails where you can lead your new interested subscriber to the product that you have to offer. So email that that email that's going out immediately, that's going to deliver your opt in the next email. Maybe you add a, another tip that is relevant to the opt in that you sent them. And then maybe the next email after that, you're going to wrap up or maybe, uh, you know, go over again what you've taught them in email one and two. And then at the bottom of email three, you start to introduce the product that 
you have. And that's where you can send them to your product sales page. And all of this is happening automatically. So when you create new emails in this sequence, you can choose when the next email is gonna go out. I set the emails to go out daily. Uh, you can choose your own preference. It can be any time frame that you want. You can even create a funnel that goes maybe for five days and then maybe 30 days later you show back up. And if they didn't purchase, you can either offer them something new, maybe a special discount or a new bonus or something to help them make a decision if they haven't yet. There's so much flexibility that you can do on the back end of Kajabi with email sequences. So you'll see if you were to, uh, you know, opt into this funnel and you can opt into this funnel, I'll, I'll link it below, but you'll see that you get emails over time and those emails start to point you to my product at hand. I've, cr I've written each and every email to be tightly aligned to somebody who is interested in creating and launching their very first product. So it leads them to my signature course in the end. Of course, not everybody is going to buy, but this is a way that you can actually make money on autopilot. These emails are automatically sent out. It's going, it's automatically linking to where I want to send my subscriber and it allows them to make a decision for themselves if they want to purchase that product at that time or not. Kajabi makes it so easy for you to build these email sales funnels out. You can also track your results. You can see what your open and your click through rates are. You can see what your unsubscribe rates are to help you over time tweak this email sales sales funnel and make sure that your subject lines are working and the content inside of these emails are working. And you can really start to tweak this sales funnel to get even more conversions over time based on the results that you're getting. If you want to see how my Kajabi email funnel works, or if you're just interested in learning how to turn what you know into what you can sell in a digital product, you can click here to this opt-in form. I'll link it down below underneath this video and you can see exactly how this sales funnel works and you can explore a little bit more about what I do and how I can help you turn your service-based business into a digital product that you can sell online. If you're wondering how to make your emails look beautiful on Kajabi without a single line of code, make sure that you watch this video I've got lined up for you next on how to create beautiful emails with Kajabi without ever looking at a line of code. Check it out.